On this video, you're gonna find out the best way to go live on Facebook Gaming using Streamlabs OBS and Facebook's Gaming Streaming Dashboard. Make sure you like the video up, and if you like the video, please hit that subscribe. If you don't know, it's your boy Rob, Facebook Gaming Streamer with over 10,000 followers, and I've also helped many people create their Facebook pages for success. And let's get straight to it. You are watching a master at work. On the last video, I showed you how to go live using your page that we just created in the previous episode. This is actually the best way to go live using Facebook gaming, unless you're multi-streaming to other platforms. This is gonna be where you wanna be at. And this is going to be the gaming streaming dashboard. So we're gonna go through, I'll talk about it, talk about why it's the best way. Make sure you like the video up, subscribe if you wanna see more content, and check out the previous episodes if you haven't made your page yet. Check this out. Now why I say this is the best is because the Facebook gaming streamer dashboard has so much information that you're gonna need while you're growing your page. Not only can you go here and click the go live button. By the way, the URL is facebook.com slash gaming slash streamer. After your page is created, type in facebook.com slash gaming slash streamer forward slashes, by the way. And this will take you to the same exact screen. Now, why is this better, you ask? So why it's better is because you have not only the spot where you can go live, you can update your game in case you switch in the middle of a stream, boom, all you have to do is hit update. You can update the title in the stream, boom, all you have to hit is update. Why? You have alerts, and these alerts aren't just gonna be likes and shares, it's normally like shares and donations, more like the bigger alerts than like a like. Um, the new follows, you'll have alerts set up for that and your OBS will show you. And I'll actually show y'all where in OBS you'll see that. So I'm still gonna go through the process of going live on here. I just wanted to show the benefits so you kind of know what all this has to offer because this is the number one way to go live. Now on top of that, you get your top star senders. As y'all know, we're going for the level up program. So we you wanna keep an eye on this and you can also move it around. You can shift the, the width of a, of a column. You know, so it's, it's awesome. You get <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you get streamer stats so you can see how many viewers, how many comments, how many reactions, how many shares, how many clips. That comes in handy when you have a goal for your stream. I recommend having a goal. So if it's 100 likes or 100 reactions, you would call it. Make sure that you let your stream know. Make sure the comments are there. You know what I mean? It keeps you it keeps you aiming for something and it keeps your stream engaged because when you hit that certain point, you not only do you feel like you won, your stream feels like you won. There's a charity streaming tab if you want to do a, a charity stream. You can see if the, if the servers are working. If people are having issues, you can click the search button. It'll do a speed test and tell you if it's working or not. On top of that, you can run a poll for your viewers to have them pick and live you can get results while people vote it keeps them engaged or you can pro tip by the way for you tuning in for the show i'll let you know about this you can put have you liked or shared the stream yet and then one will be like yes i have one will be like not yet but i will and that just gets the engagement it makes people like get more invested in the content versus just stopping on makes them feel more inclined to say something or like and follow you feel me so pro tip right there and then another thing is your goals. So if you wanna have a goal for followers, a goal for supporters, a goal for followers and supporters are the most the most you know common ones, but you can actually send alert to your stream, send an alert to your stream to have them see the progress and how close that y'all are to the goal. So I definitely recommend using this. On the last stream, once you go live, you can't really, you can see comments, but not you don't get all of these other features. So this is definitely a pro tip. So definitely make sure you implement this into your game on a secondary monitor. I normally pull it up and I'll have it split with my chat. So I have this up, I'll have my chat, and I'll have my game on another screen. That's if you're on a two monitor setup. If you get three, you really winning then. So check that out. And on top of that, Y'all know we going for this level up. We going for that 100 followers in a month. Remember, I said we going for 1,000 in a month, but it has your progress, the progress that we talked about. If you want a full video on these steps to start getting monetized through Facebook and start making money, check out the first video in this series and that'll get you right. Or maybe the second, it's the second video. The first one is creating your page. The second one is the level up program. So why this is better, check it out. Okay, 
So look, I guess you can speed test, see what's, what's going on with the speed test. But um, all of that is not available in the going live from Facebook. So what we're gonna do now is, we already talked about this on the last episode. That's why I wanted to show the benefits of the streaming dashboard. But just in case you're just wondering how to go live from here, boom, same steps that we did last time. These are the, the server URL and stream key. And I'm not using the persistent one, so I'm not even gonna blur this one. But um, check this out. I'm gonna go through and explain these one more time so you know exactly how to go live the best way. I don't do the new design, I'm used to this, so I stick to this. Check this out here. So I'm gonna bring OBS up real quick so I'll show y'all exactly, hold up, exactly how to put this information into Streamlabs OBS. Okay, you're going to go to your settings wrench. Boom, you're going to go to stream. Mind you, there's a lot of videos on OBS setup that are a lot like very detailed on getting your quality and stuff right. If y'all want me to drop videos like that, let me know in the comments below right now. But um, I'm gonna skip that for now. I'm assuming you got your overlays all that up. So we're gonna go straight to just getting you right. Now, like I said, you could go through the streamers services tabs. I don't do this, although you can, right? I always go custom server, right? Boom, scroll down. The server URL is gonna go boom right here. But like I said, don't share this with anybody. Unless you're trying to be hacked and go viral, you feel me? Because they can go live whenever they want if they have this information. Boom. Or you can go stream key. I mean, you paste your stream key right here. Bop. Okay. Once you do that, you'll press done. All right. So what that's going to do is send a message to Facebook that you want to go live. Before we press that, I'm going to make sure that your, your live is, is right. Okay. We got to make sure that your live is going to set you up for success. What's up? What's good? Okay. So after that... You want to have a good bio, a good um, paragraph where it says say something about your live video. I always make sure to put goals, social media, things like that in here. Just so if somebody wants to scroll, they can connect on other platforms. You don't have to paste it every single time. Social media is important and you have something to catch them. You have a hook to make them want to stop by more than just a game in your face. OK, so. Make sure you put your social media, you know, a tag, a question for your stream, things like that in this tab. Tag a game. We talked about this last time. This is how you get qualified for level up. So make sure you tag the game you're playing. If you switch games, go back to the streamer dashboard and update the game so that can the algorithm can target that audience for you. Let's get straight to the next one. Add a title to your live broadcast. Why you need this is the same thing. It's a hook. I've seen people put live on every single one live and then put they question of the day. You know what I mean? Which this is going to do is in, it's going to start engagement. Now, another pro tip, like I said, thank you for tuning in to every episode and thank you for hitting that subscribe button and that like and sharing this video with somebody who needs this. OK, you'll want to put your question in the title and also make a poll out of that same question. So. The followers on your page are going to see the question that you posted because it's the title of your video and everybody else can chime in. The new followers, the new viewers can chime in and answer the question live on the poll. That'll start a debate for you and you can keep running that throughout the whole show. If the chat dies, you can try, you can try and bring the question up and see if you can get a conversation going. Up next, we're going to go to the tags. Now, if you're playing Fortnite, you could tag Fortnite. You could tag first person shooter. As you can see, as you can see, it'll pop up. Well, Fortnite didn't, but look, all these tags, I don't really go too in depth with this, but you'll want to pick two or three tabs, first person shooters, things like that. Um, let me see what comes up. Playing. Look, see, just go through. And if you want, do that. Um, like I said, I don't do it too often. Share the groups. I do this off of my phone. If y'all didn't see the video of how to get your first 1,000 followers, go check that out. It's in the playlist below. Get your first 1,000 followers. I'm going to show you the exact formula. It's below. And then the thumbnail. The thumbnail, you can go into Photoshop. You can you can create a thumbnail that if somebody's scrolling through their Facebook, clouded with information, you can go through and have an image that'll stick out to them, stand out, and make them want to click on your stream. Okay, now that you got that set up, you're literally right there. You're ahead of the competition. You tagged your game. You got you got a lot of hooks in there to get people to be interested in pulling up on your live stream. So once you have your OBS lined up, check this out. As soon as you hit this go live button right here, right? You anything you don't want recorded. You know what I mean? Just 
You don't go live to your your tribe until you hit the go live on Facebook. But just to be safe, when you hit this button, bop, go live, okay? It's going to pop up over here, bop, with your information, your resolution, all that, okay? Don't be in your nose, don't be, you know what I'm saying, scratch. But nah, seriously, don't do anything you don't want seen by millions of people, all right? <laughs> but, uh, or don't say anything you don't want to say. So just pretend this is your live button. But what I do is, after I'm on here, I come over here, bop, go live. Now, I know I did a lot of talking, but I hope you found this valuable. I say all of this so you have success while you go live because anybody can go live, bro. Everybody can stream, bro, but this is going to get you right. Follow this step by step. If you haven't gotten to this point, go to the first video in this series and just watch them. And I'm telling you, it's like step by step on how to get your first 1,000 followers, how to get right on this Facebook grind, okay? Good luck on your journey and don't hesitate. Make your account right now and do me a favor. Pull up on my stream, facebook.com slash the raw gaming. Let me know that you got your page started and you're on the road to 1K. Well, and also if you just want to comment below, I'll definitely check you out. But uh, pull up on a live stream for sure. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, I have that available on my Patreon below. And uh, if you have an email response, just one question you want entered, my email is below. Feel free to send me an email. Good luck on your journey. Peace and positivity. Y'all already know I'll see you on the next episode. It's your boy, Ra, and we out. Don't forget to hit the blue live. That's once you see yourself over here, bop, you know what I'm saying? Once you see yourself over here, when you hit this blue live is when it sends the noti out to everybody. By the way, gang, gang, gang. Y'all stay up. I'll see you on the next one. Rock with the chrome, be all alone Out of this world, this spaceship my home Feel like a king, this city the throne uh, Got a red bone, she jam every song uh, Got me a clingy bit all on my phone yeah. Oh, leave me alone, I need to fade Let me know when you're ready Boy. I forgot your name, but I think it was back You don't need disrespect, but I don't need your sex I just uh, want the neck, then I'm back to the check uh, Everyday Friday